All right, got it on over to the golf course. Meow. Here a little bit earlier than usual, so I'm gonna go ahead and practice some putting because my putting has been definitely not looking as good as it should be lately. So I'm here about an hour early for my uh, morning practice game or my money game with my tournament colleagues and whatnot. I like to play with fellas that I compete with so I can keep my game fresh. So I'm gonna do some putting drills, do some practicing on the range, maybe do a little bit of speed training, take you all through what, you know, a good uh, extra 45 minutes on the course could probably look like if you have a few times, or if you have a little bit more time to practice. So let me go ahead and get checked in, roll some putts, do some practicing, show you a little bit what my, uh, my Saturday day looks like when I'm not playing in the tournament uh, and how I kind of get down. Let's do it right now. Great. So first things first is just obviously want to find myself a nice little straight putt. And I like to use this little Vizio putting aid, which is just basically a gate to help me hit a few putts straight. And I just want to groove in my stroke, not too much focusing on technique or anything. I just want to start this ball on the right line. And I'll do this for, you know, five, 10 minutes. Just trying to hit it straight. There we go. And again, I'm not too much focused on anything other than just consistently hitting that ball on the right line. Getting what feels comfortable. Just making sure I'm seeing the same setup, the same feels. There we go. All right, now that that's done, what I'm gonna do is set up a little speed distance station over here. And I always like to have a little fake hole. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick what looks like a pretty long area on the course that I can work with. It doesn't have a whole bunch of people in front of it. And I'm gonna put a quarter down a foot in front of it. And I'm gonna put another quarter down a foot in front of it. And then I'm gonna put another quarter down a foot behind it. And then I'll use a T peg for my final backstop. That's what that looks like. It's basically a little setup station, hole in the middle, one foot, two foot, foot behind. And then I just put a T peg just cause I like that visual better, but you know, to each their own, I suppose. And this is an area where I've been off a little bit. I'm just gonna walk the first, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm gonna take this 10 feet. My goal with this one is to get this one inside of the first foot if we're gonna be hitting it from 10 feet. Okay, a little soft. And normally what I'll do is if I don't get it inside of this first foot or behind it from 10 feet, I'll go back and redo it again. Kind of like that. That's pretty good. And the reason I have the fake hole there is because I don't really care about this going in or not. I run and just focus on speed. And I find that when there's a hole there, it really gets in the way of me focusing on a target. If that helps you, that's way too strong. Look at that, I'm 11 feet and I'm already all over the place. So as you can see, clearly gotta do some work with this. That felt good. Boom, pace it out another three feet. And you kind of get the idea, right? You just keep working on this line, snaking your way back. And then obviously, what was that? 10, 11, 12. So this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 feet, right? So when we get past 15 feet, we can open up the gap a little bit, but I'm gonna see if I can still keep getting this inside of that one foot window. That was a pretty good roll. That felt good. Bam. That was pretty good there. That leave us a little tap in. Cool, I'm gonna do this out to 25 feet. Obviously you don't need to see it, you get the idea. I feel you on that one. Yeah. But for Bryson to add that level of speed and still be able to keep him play. There it is. Right down the middle. 
Oh, that's got a hold on that line. Oh, this is going to chip my eight iron up. I got a 60 and I'm just going to hit it three quarter full. I'm going to grip down and hit it full. Ah, uh, that's either long or that's perfect. I got here. Oh, nice putt. There you go, dude. Nice putt. Thank you. And he delivers with excellence. Good par. I got about 217 to the flag. Out of this rough little downhill to the right. I think a four hybrid should get it. I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it all the way there. Because I gotta cut it so much. Oh, that's looking good. Kick right, kick right. First three oh. holes in. Kenny Cat leading. A little bogey on the first hole, but steady in the ship. These trouble, these uh, Robin and Bishop having a little trouble keeping it steady, but we got a tough par four, so let's get after it. There you go. Yeah. Scores. Nope, and I just leaked it. No, oh, sit, 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 sit. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, that's it. I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're going to be, who you're going to be, who you're going to be. Oh, come on. <laughs> I lost the ball on the ninth hole, so I doubled it and came in paying both Robin and Bishop a half a five dollars each. So don't lose balls. Sitting in the front race, could have been an easy 40 on the front, but nope, just had to go and double it. Ball play. All right, on the ninth hole, got 499 yard par five. 500 yards. Got 15% battery left, but that's where the score is at. All right, this wind's a little into. I got a buck 17 out of the rough into the wind. It's gonna be the sand wedge. See the number. And now I'm back home making this a couple of days later. Unfortunately, I ended up losing $30 in that money game. I shot an 85 with two doubles on the back nine. What I'm trying to do is basically just record more of my day-to-day -day grind to show some of you all down that lens what it looks like. I know that obviously distance training and just overall improving my game has been a really big focal point uh, for me. And obviously it's helpful to kind of show some of those struggles and what that progress looks like. And obviously I'm gonna to continue to focus on those two goals as much as possible, take you along that journey, show you what it's like to continue improving my strike, lowering my scores, and obviously hitting a whole lot of bombs and hopefully not losing three balls every single round. I know that won't be the normal case. I'll learn to dial it in, hit it as hard as I can, and obviously get it dialed in so that I can keep it in play. Most of the balls that I hit weren't too bad or out of play. They just happened to be in some really funky situations. So that's all I got for you. As always, thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel. Deuces, people. Let's keep it moving.